Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. I am sorry it has taken me this long to post a new video. Um, I was planning on doing a tutorial of my third gingerbread man, but unfortunately I completely forgot to film all the footage. Because of that, I had to come up with an entire new design, with an entire new color composition, and it has taken me quite a while since this didn't go as smoothly as I had hoped. So without further ado, we'll get into the tutorial. For this, I'm using Sketchbook Pro, and I have uploaded my sketches that I did in my sketchbook um, into the software and I am creating several layers. The sketch will be on a layer that has a lowered opacity to about 50% and above that I will create a new layer on which I will draw the line art. For the line art and most of the shading I am using a texture brush. This is a custom brush. I will try and make a tutorial on this in um, one of the next videos. The tablet I am drawing on is a Wacom Sintuous Art. It is a pad tablet, meaning that there is a disconnect between my hand and my screen. So this is the best line art that I can possibly get from it. I have been drawing digitally practically the entire month of November and December and I have gotten quite used to it. Sometimes it's frustrating but with practice you know you can get a long way. The color of the line art is a dark brown. I picked this color because I want it to be a part of the image so it will be visible in the final result. If you're not sure what colors suit your drawing best you will still be able to fix it later just make sure that your line art is on a separate layer because this is a tutorial I also feel the need to apologize that I am NOT showing my layer tools um, each and every time it depends on what tool I am currently working with that I'm either showing the color or the layers my screen is a 13 inch Mac screen and it's just not big enough to make sure that all the tools are visible for you. You can see that I'm going really slow here. This is actual real time. Um, the reason why I went slow here is because I was planning on making this the final uh, line art and then halfway through I decided I didn't like it and I went back to the sketching phase where I am switching out the head and figuring out the feet and the bow of the gift that he is holding. So I'm gonna speed up this process but that is what is happening and then I will slow it down when we go to the next step. is the part where I decided that I liked the head of the other bear a lot more and so I cut it out of the second design and placed it on the first one. When it comes to digital art, I find that the layers are the most valuable asset. It is so important. Make sure that the sketches that you make are on a separate layer um, away from your original image. For instance, the images that I took from the, my sketchbook are on a separate layer from the line art sketches that I am making here. This allows you to change things around really quickly if you make mistakes or change your mind. Here 
I flipped the canvas to see how it looked in the um, mirror image and I fixed things around. I usually don't do this because, I don't know, it's just not really part of my workflow I guess, but for this one I did it because the drawing itself was a little more challenging than the gingerbread men I did and I wanted to make sure that it looked and felt right to me. Right here is the reason why the layers are so important. I am switching um, the eyebrows and fiddling a little bit with the eyes, the position, the shape, everything. Um, just try and play with it. Just because you drew your initial sketch, it doesn't mean that it is fixed. Change things around, make sure that it eventually looks the way you want it to look. And to me this is also the most fun part of digital drawing, the fact that you can um, change things without ruining the original design. Before I start the line art, I will group everything together into a sketch group and lower the opacity so that I can create the line art on top. For the line art, I am going really slowly since this is going to be a part of the final image and here you can see it in real time. For now, this is the only way that I have been able to create somewhat clean line art. I can imagine that if you have a screen tablet it is a lot easier because you actually know where it's going to be placed and you can just draw on it like you would draw on a piece of paper but with the Intuos art it is not possible. So take your time, that's the only advice that I can give you if you don't have a screen tablet and be patient with yourself. It'll get better. Since the line art took me over an hour to complete, I am going to speed this up and somewhere halfway cut through to the next step because it just takes too long and it's not that interesting to watch. During the line art stage you can still feel that you're not happy with the original design and then you can still decide to sketch in a few ideas. Um, I did this for the bows. I created a new layer which is the easiest way to do it and just try out um, different things. If you eventually end up liking what you do you can always create a new layer and clean it up. Once you are done with the line art, turn off the sketch layer and make sure that your line art contains everything it needs. Even at this stage, you can still decide to change things around. For instance, here I am fiddling around again with the eyes because I thought they sort of looked creepy the way they are.
since the video is already 11 minutes long, I am going to stop here and create an entirely new video for the coloring. Um, it's possible that the coloring video is going to be multiple videos because it took me over 10 hours to create this image. So we'll see. Thank you so much for watching and until the next video. Thank you.